Hope everyone's doing well. Just figured I'd do a quick little update on some of our little spring critters. Our little baby chicks that we got back in February are getting very big. And I think the door's blowing around behind me. Don't need that. All kinds of noise. I think this this one here, I'm thinking this one might be a rooster. That one's kind of been my little buddy. Every time I come in, he <laughs> pecks up my finger. The little red ones have been pretty friendly too. I think those are possibly a Rhode Island red. Hey girl, get close up, huh? And this, um, of course I don't have any pulse right now, but this one should be a dark Brahma with the feathers on the legs there. And this other one right back here with the feathers on the legs is also a dark Brahma. And, um, there you go girl, come a little closer. Just in comparing those two, they're a little different looking, so I think that one might be a rooster. So I'm very interested to see how big that dark brown rooster is going to get. Because I've seen some videos online. I wish I knew the name of the video right now. But if anybody has uh, googled dark brown rooster, there's a video. And this rooster comes out of like a nesting box like these back here. And the thing is like three feet tall. So that, that was honestly kind of what turned me on to the Brahmas. I just, I just think it's kind of cool how huge they get. That's why I wanted to get some. They're an egg layer. I don't think they're an amazing egg layer by any means. But they definitely lay their share, fair share of eggs. We've got a girl in here right now. Laying an egg, or maybe just chilling in there. So you got some eggs. Oh, yeah. She's got an egg in there. A few more eggs to pick for the day. These here are light Brahmas. And this should be a Buff Orpington. <laughs> I had I had three well I actually had four light Brahma hens in the past. One of them was a real little chick and got out of the box and got too cold. Um, but those those all passed. They all passed away. And with my hatchery choice egg layer, the five chicks that I got out of that. I got three light Brahmas in there. So the Coover's Hatchery must have known that I liked the Brahmas since I had 10 other Brahmas on my order. So maybe that's why they sent them here. But uh, really liking our mix of chickens. The big chickens are moving over, scaring all the little ones out of the corner. They seem to be all doing very well in here. We've got feeder here for them, which this style of feeder should actually be hung up from the ceiling, but I have not hung it up yet. And then we've got their little water and their little feeder. Just a couple different options for them. Another big water there. Those little ones, they might be able to reach that, but it might be a little stretch for them. So I just made sure that they had a couple different options for feed and water, uh, just in case the big ones thought that they needed to protect their feed or their water, and then the little ones can get feed and water somewhere else. So I think now we're going to go over to the barn. Go we'll take a look at the little piglets and the goats and the sheep too, the little lambs.
They're getting more adventurous. They started. If the sheep would be quiet here. The little piglets started making more noise. They're grunting and talking more. Obviously, getting more adventurous, so they're cruising around their pen a lot more. You got a tougher job, Wilma? Keeping track of all these guys wandering around? I don't know. Hopefully, we've got more more girls in here than boys when it comes time to castrate them. Not a very fun job. for little baby goats. in here. <laughs> Little babies aren't too playful right now. Really nice day out. I I should have them turned outside, but good grief, that wind is blowing. It's really warm, but that wind is just blowing like crazy. And it's supposed to cool off the next couple days, so I think I'll just leave the barn door shut till the end of the week.
You're chewing on my pants, Case. These three little triplet girls piled up with their mom over here. Hey, Flynn. Nice and cozy. Searching for something to eat in here. We've got somebody over here chewing on my sweatshirt. Frosty, what are you doing? You too. You girls are too friendly. Somebody's getting too close. Here, Millie. All right, we're gonna go peek at the lambs. Your face always dirty. Huh? Sheeper. Probably a little annoyed with me because I made him stay inside today. They were outside last night and the barn door blew shut and a couple of them got stuck outside. So I just decided I didn't want all that wind blowing in here today. Come on, we want to see the lambs. Those are little twins back here.
see the white one is a twin and that black one is a single but the, the black one's mother is one of the big wool sheep the polypays you see the size difference in those two there they're pretty close to the same age the twins are actually a little older and this girl here is a last year's lamb That's groundhog right through the middle there. She sure is getting nice and solid. She's big. Is, this would be her sister. She's a year older though. Groundhog, you're almost as big as your sister. It's very interesting as well with the genetics. The the two white twins, their mom is the solid black. She's got that little white star on her head. And their dad was Oslo, who we sold him a couple weeks ago just because he'll start breeding his daughters if we kept him. Uh, but both mom and dad are white and black, and we get two brown and white babies. And then this little buddy, his ears froze off. He was born when it was really, really cold. So the end of his ears got frozen. Looks a little goofy, but he's doing all right. Spring is finally coming. Pretty exciting. Get some green grass out there soon and get everybody turned out on pasture. Thanks for watching, guys. You guys are just chilling. Got sunshine out here. Fresh bill.